I've been doing my utmost best to convince Yuri to stay in Bukit Jelutong because I really love this place. So I'm just showing him around, you know, and hopefully he loves it as much as I do. You know, Sri, I've been thinking about it, right? What your parents said about this place and everything. And I really like this place. I think it's a good place to live. Really? Yeah. You're sure? I'm sure. Because I don't want you to do this just because of me, you know. I know you know that I want to live here, but... You know, this decision, I feel like something that we both have to like and we have to agree on. I spoke to my parents over the phone the other day and they said it's a good thing that if we live near Zandra's parents because um, if I'm working late or anything like that and uh, I don't have to worry about her being home alone. So they have a good point. And the neighbourhood is beautiful. It is beautiful. So Bukit Jelutong it is. Yay! One of the very first things we're going to do is to decide on a concept for the house. But we're both up to our next work, so we're going to enlist the help of an interior designer. My cousin Ivan's a great ID, and uh, he's helping us design the house. So we're meeting him at his office at Squared. Yep. Yeah, we want the house to be very cosy, yeah. very yeah, It's warm. going to be a rustic feel, but it's got yeah. a lot of character as well. That. We don't want to, that. I mean, yeah. like, we want things that are, uh, you know, maybe a bit of wood. A bit of natural colours, a bit of warmth, you know? Okay, now many people go to interior designers and then they end up not liking the design. So we know that we have to be as communicative with Ivan as possible so that he knows the concept of our house. I, I, I think, uh, you know, uh, you guys have um, uh, some basic direction mm -hmm. and uh, the likes and the don't likes. Mm -hmm. um, and I think uh, these are a good set of pictures to show me the... It's almost like a mood board. We think that the best way to communicate with our designer is to just show him the designs. And it's equally important that he knows what we don't like, uh, not just what we like. The other guest bedroom will be converted into her walk-in wardrobe. Yes. Right? Yeah. And, uh, and yours will be just a small little corner. closet in the corner. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because my clothes are like a tenth or maybe less one yeah. percent of what she has, you know. Yeah. Hey, having a lot of clothes is like part of a profession in the entertainment industry. It's almost like a requirement. It is. You've got a, a, a quite a long, narrow yeah. kitchen. Yeah. So maybe what I was just thinking is, you know, we could actually take this uh, uh, wall down uh, yeah. and just smash kind of the wall down and smash the wall down. Yeah. Uh, the that is feasible. Room. A utility room. But if we knock it down, then we won't have a utility room. Yeah, we won't have. <laughs> We're not exactly what you would call neat. If we knock away the utility room, where else will we hide all those unsightly things? You put stuff, like, you know, like, okay, what about laundry, you know, when, when before you iron your clothes, you so, can store your things. It's a good question where you ask that because I think it is extremely essential that you have some kind of storeroom, a storage mm. space. So I'm, I'm looking at uh, uh, your walk-in wardrobe. Uh, I'm just kidding. There's not! <laughs> I'm just yeah, kidding. Yeah, 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 I'm just kidding. It's a good thing he's just kidding. <laughs> Yeah, I think what we could do is we could actually cover that area, you know, the back part so that we can actually just have... here? Yeah, oh. just here, I think towards yeah. that kind of rectangular That's a space. Possibility, you know. I think Ivan pretty much gets it. He understands our design and concept. Now it's just down to execution now. Fingers crossed. So that went pretty well with Ivan. Yeah, it did. I'm actually. glad we did the photos and everything to show him. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad we put, went through that work, lah. You know, I was just on the phone with my mom. Mm. How's she? Oh, she's good. And uh, we were talking about the house, lah. You know, all sorts of stuff, including Ivan and you know what we did and all that. And uh, we were talking quite a bit about feng shui, actually. Feng shui, yeah. Yeah. To be honest, right? Maybe like my parents' time, your parents' time, maybe it's more relevant. I mean, it's been way before our parents' time, you know, they've been doing for hundreds of years, you know. And even the Western people now yeah, are doing you know, it, you know. Aussie friends, maybe yeah. amongst the Chinese, you're following our fashion, you know, like us, right? <laughs> it's but like then amongst the Yeah, amongst the Western guys, they actually do it because it works. Mm. And she's, she says that it's all about harmony, creating harmony in a space. Getting good energy into a space. Yeah, but we will bring joy to the house. Like, we'll, you know, it's, it's our energy that will bring, like, you know, harmony into the house. I don't think, like, any external third sector will, will kind of. I don't think it will bring us harmony if we don't have harmony already. Yeah, but yeah, I yeah. think it can enhance the harmony such that maybe when you feel a bit down, 
it will help you feel a bit better. So like let's say if we were to have like feng shui, right, do we have to do it uh, before the renovations or how? Mm, I think it's best to get the guy in before the renovations just to see all the flow because once you put something is there. Right, imagine if he says, oh, I think this is a bad place to yeah, put yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> You're yeah, going to yeah. knock it down and do it yeah, again. Yeah, yeah, so let's find someone that's good. And then we'll just ask the advice and then we'll see where we go from there, you know. So we decided to give Feng Shui a go. Master David Ko has been practicing the art of Feng Shui in Yiching for the past 35 years. He's coming to take a look at our house. What year are you born? 1979. And you, Chandra? Uh, 1983. Ah, that's good. You see, this, uh, looking at the external feature, mm -hmm. the house is now facing north. Okay. Okay. Congratulations, you got the right house. It never occurred to us to get a Feng Shui consultation before we buy the house, so we're very relieved. So, that is the original door. Yes. And then here we plan to actually seal it up. You can you have, have a wall. You can have two doors. Oh, okay. You what if you just want one door? Uh, then in every four years, you got to do some little mitigation. Oh, really? Uh? What kind of mitigation? Uh? Well, let's go out, stay one night, come back again and re-energize. Yeah. But in four years, we are going to upgrade to a bigger, yes. better house <laughs> already, so never mind. Yes. Yes. The good news is, it doesn't matter where we have our front door. I had my heart froze for a moment. I thought, you know, I had my heart set on nice windows facing the front porch. Yeah, the problem with you is this picture is a little bit small. So it's a bit... The rectangle yeah. is a bit elongated. Yeah. Both Ivan and Master David are really keen to break down the wall of the utility room to make more space for our kitchen. Oh yeah, I want to ask you something, right? People normally yeah. say don't put a mirror right in front of your bed. Yes. It, because you don't want to see a reflection when you wake up in the morning, is that true? Yes, in front of the bed, yes, because there's an ugliest moment in the life. <laughs> <laughs> other than that, there's no other reason. Oh, so it's a myth, la. It's a myth. I, uh, see, I told you. <laughs> Master David is a cool guy. Yeah, he may look like the traditional Chinese guy with a beard and all, right? But he sure got a sense of humor. Okay, with regards to feng shui, right? Like, what, what is the main thing that we should observe? And then what are the additional things that we can observe if we want to? Oh, God. Anything that's leading to place in good sector mm. will enhance. Okay. Uh, all these objects, or whether it's mirrors, or it's uh, frog, or it's turtle, or not, these are dead objects. For decoration, fine. They have got no impact at all. Okay. okay. So don't need to waste time with the buying. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Thank you, you're done with. Thank you okay. so much. Thank you very much. One of our friends, library designer Sunny Sun, he's a huge believer in feng shui and he has the most gorgeous home that he designed himself. So we're trying to see whether we can get some inspiration from Sunny. How are you? Good. Thank you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Oh, I mean, it's a really nice place. You haven't been here before, huh? No. Oh, no, that would be a few times. Nice. Yes. Please sit down. Sunny's house is a great example of incorporating feng shui into a modern space. We, we actually had a feng shui consultation by, I don't know whether you heard Master David Ko. Yes, he came to our house, but the thing was mm. like, we actually, normally people have feng shui master come to the house before they buy the house, right? Yeah. Ours <laughs> came like after, you know? But wow. thankfully, he said the house was a yeah, good energy, you know? Yeah. No, I'm sure you'll feel it when you walk. When you, before you buy the house, you've, been, you've seen the space. If you feel negative about it, you wouldn't have made mm. the purchase. Actually, the instinct actually helps a lot. But that is also feng shui, right? I feng shui mean... instinct is feng shui. Say you were, you were, uh, you had our house, right? Mm -hmm. And we had a small kitchen. And then the feng shui guy says, uh, I think you should enlarge the kitchen somehow. Mm. We have a utility room, which we use for storage. So, we're thinking maybe we knock down the wall and enlarge the yeah. kitchen. Nah. Or, or the room can also be like, next time if we have kids, you know, it can be a live-in helper. Yeah, so we're But not you can sure do other option. modifications around the other side. The other, you play around the other areas of the house. Other than using that, if that actually helps in creating a better feng shui for the kitchen, just knock the wall down. But what if we need extra storage space and then you I can regret? You can create <laughs> storage spaces everywhere around the house. Doesn't mean you have to have it next to the kitchen. Yeah. So you really think we should just do yes, it? Yes, definitely. Mm. If you have consulted someone, they'll come and give you an advice, just follow. And you won't regret it, definitely. Really? Uh, yes. You think so? Uh? I feel so too. Okay, okay. Mm. Any parts of your house that you actually did that was um, like designed around feng shui? Oh yeah, my staircase. Come, let me show you. Okay. Sunny knows so much about feng shui, he's like a professional. Maybe good feng shui plays a part in his success too. I mean, if he follows through with the feng shui advice, maybe we'll build a huge empire just like what he's done with his fashion label Eclipse. You see the staircase? Mm. It runs from the top to the bottom. Mm. And just behind this wall is my main door. Yeah. So I need to actually block the energy of the house flowing up from the, oh. the staircase to the door. So you built this, and how come you use mirror? Huh? Reflects back the energy. Oh. <laughs> so mirror... 
and yeah, so actually, on. Yeah, actually, the mirror is good up. to make the space look even bigger, and this whole wall actually is quite invisible. Yes. Inside the storage cupboard. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. It's, like, it's a storeroom, store it's a mini storeroom inside. So you did three in one. First, you mitigated. Yeah. Okay. And then, second of all, you built um, a, a mirror. Yes. Okay, that reflects back the energy. And yeah. third of all, it's a storage space. Yes. So, three mm -hmm. in one. Yeah, very good. Right? Yeah. Who says you can't do it? You can do it. We're so home. Sunny has just inspired us to be more creative and clever with our home design. Style doesn't have to be sacrificed for practicality or feng shui. It can all go together. Feng Shui advice is great, but what happens when there's an unwelcome surprise? Tune in next week to see how the couple deals with an unsightly dilemma. Right here on Going Home with Zandra and Yuri.